Uh, how did you feel about this set that you performed earlier? I felt great. I mean, it was fun. And that, that's another thing I've learned from touring so much is that um, if you can walk off the stage and just feel like you had fun, then, then that's, that's an accomplishment in itself. Um, I try not to judge the music anymore. Um, yeah, so that, that's what I've learned in the last three or four months. Big lessons, <laughs> Listen, lessons to have learned in such a short amount of time. And you're not here by yourself. You have someone that you're uh, going around the festival with. So what have the two of you been experiencing other than music? Oh, well, we just had some good lunch. Yeah. I had some uh, chicken shrimp pesto pasta. Okay. Very nice. Uh, she, had, uh, she had a burger. Not so interesting, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we, we went and saw Winton set, and um, we're going to stick around for Grace Kelly. And, and as you listen to other trumpeters, which you, you've been describing that you, you've been listening to other trumpeters during this festival, like, are you listening for anything in particular or just for who they are? Um, I, more of their development because I've known them for so long. Um, so like Jason Palmer, I knew him since, I've known him since 2000. Jay, uh, Jonathan Finlayson, I grew up with him. We went to the same middle school. So it's just good to hear you know, how they're developing or what they're choosing to focus on in their development as trumpet players. And what's so funny is you, you, it's hard to do that for yourself sometimes. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. To look at yourself in any kind of objective way. Hmm. Yeah. Do you listen to a lot of your performances and, you know, as time moves on and get a little distance between them? And that was another thing that has changed since I've been touring a lot. Um, in the beginning of the tour, everybody would you know, record the tour and, and we record the gig and listen back to it right afterwards. And, and then from night to night, they were trying to recreate the, 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 the parts that they thought were special. And then even that became um, a bit boring and contrived. So now I don't listen to any of my gigs anymore. Um, yeah, I don't listen to any gigs. I don't read any reviews. I mean, I was already doing that, but I really, I really don't. I don't watch any YouTube clips or anything like that anymore. Just because um, I don't want to create, create, recreate things consciously recreating. Yeah, and it's also um, it allows you to continue sort of a forward momentum as opposed to, you know, stopping and pausing. Right. You know, hard to do. I listen to myself all the time. <laughs> I'm not getting any better at this, though. Oh, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. We're at the 2011 Newport Jazz Festival, and uh, I'm here with Ambrose Akimusari, I being Josh Jackson, host of The Checkout, and this coverage from WBGO, WGBH, and NPR Music, and we're going to uh, feature uh, most of Ambrose Akamusari's set from the Harbor Stage. And we're going to begin with uh, your slow jam. My slow jam, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's um, entitled Hinya. It begins with um, Harish Raghavan on bass taking an uh, extended bass intro. All right, well, let's hear the Ambrose Akamusari quintet from the Harbor Stage at the 2011 Newport Jazz Festival. Ambrose, thank you so much for joining us. Always my pleasure. Music. <laughs> <laughs> 